In this lesson, we're going to be finding the volume of a cylinder. The success criteria is I can use a formula to find the volume of a cylinder. I can use the formula for the volume of a cylinder to find a missing dimension. The volume V of a cylinder is the product of the area of the base and the height of the cylinder. Okay. Well, here we have V equals the base area, capital B, times H. And over here, we see that the base area of a cylinder is the area of a circle. Okay. So our formula is actually going to be volume equals, well, this base area is the area of a circle. And I know the area of a circle is A equals pi R squared. So if we put this all together, the volume of our cylinder is going to be pi R squared and then times the height of our cylinder. So this is our cylinder formula. Here we have a right cylinder and here we have an oblique cylinder, okay? And the formula is the same for both, okay? Just the thing to note is that the height of the oblique cylinder is not the slant length here, okay? This is a different length than this, okay? And then it's the same thing for the right cylinder. In this example, we're gonna find the volume of the cylinder and round our answer to the nearest tenth, okay? Well, first thing I'm gonna do is write down my formula, which is V equals pi R squared H, where R is the radius of the circle and H is the height of the cylinder, okay? Well, I see right here, my radius is three meters and my height is six meters. So I'm gonna write that down right now. R equals three, H equals six. Now I'm gonna plug these values in to the formula. Okay, so now I have V equals pi times three squared times six, okay? Well, next thing I'm gonna do is just simplify this. Okay, I know three squared is nine. So this is gonna be pi times nine times six. Okay, well, nine times six is 54. So my volume is gonna be 54 pi, okay? And now I need to figure out my units. Okay, if I scroll back up here, my units for my radius and my height are in meters. So since I'm dealing with volume, I'm gonna be dealing with cubic meters, okay? So basically how many one by one by one meter cubes can I fit into this? Okay. And the answer is gonna be 54 pi meters cubed. Okay, now this is our exact answer, but the instructions ask us to round to the nearest 10th. So I'm gonna use a calculator to round this number to the nearest 10th. This is exact, okay? So I'm gonna type in 54 pi. If, it, if your calculator has a pi button, it's gonna be more accurate, but if not, you can use 3.14, okay? So here I have 169.646 and all this fun stuff over here. Okay, well, to round to the nearest 10th, I'm gonna to go to my 10th decimal place, which is right here, and then go one to the right. Okay, this is a four, so since it's below five, I'm gonna round down, so my answer is just gonna be 169.6. I'm gonna write that down over here. So my approximate volume, which I can write as V with these kind of squiggly equals, is equal to 169.6 meters cubed. But another way to read this is the volume is about 169.6 meters cubed or cubic meters. So this is our rounded answer. And now we're done with this one. For this example, we're going to find the height of the cylinder and then round our answer to the nearest whole number. Okay. Well, here I have a diameter of 10 inches, okay, and I have a missing height, but I'm given the volume. So I'm gonna write all my information down. Okay, so my diameter equals 10 inches. Okay, my height is something I don't know yet, so I'm gonna put a question mark there. My volume is 314 cubic inches. And one thing to notice, my diameter is 10 inches. Well, that means my radius is just gonna be half of that, which is gonna be five inches. So I'm gonna write down R equals five inches because for my formula, which is volume equals pi R squared H, okay, I don't have my diameter there, I have my radius, okay? So now this is my useful information. So what I'm gonna to wanna to do is plug all of this stuff into my equation and then solve for the height here, okay? Height, I don't know, so I'm just gonna leave it as H. R is five, so I'm gonna plug in five here. And then V is 314. So I'm going to get 314 equals pi times 5 squared times H. 
Okay, well, five squared or five times five is 25, so I can rewrite that as 25 pi h equals 314, okay? And then to solve for h here, what I wanna do is cancel out the 25 pi, because 25 pi is being multiplied by h, so to cancel that out, I'm gonna divide by 25 pi on both sides. Now I'm just going to cancel the 25 pi's out, so I'm going to get h equals 314 over 25 pi. Okay. Now this is my exact value, but remember we want our answer rounded to the nearest whole number. So I'm going to go back to the calculator, and I'm going to write 314 over 25 pi. And once again, I have the pi button, but if you didn't, you could plug in 3.14. And now I see over here my answer. This is equal to 3.997 and so on and so on. Okay, so to round this to the nearest whole number, I'll take my whole number, which is 3. And then I'll go one decimal place to the right, which is 9. And that's obviously going to be rounding up because it's 5 or more. So now I know that my height is going to be approximately 4. So h is about four, and then my unit, if I notice here, this is inches, this is cubic inches, so this is gonna be in inches. So my height is about four inches. And now we're done with this example. For this example, we're gonna find the radius of the cylinder, and then round our answer to the nearest whole number, okay? Well, notice I have an oblique cylinder here, and that's okay. I'm given my height, and I'm given my volume, so now I just have to find the radius. So once again, I'm going to write down everything that I have, and then plug in what I have to my formula, and then solve for the missing variable. Okay, so remember the formula is V equals pi r squared h. I don't know what my radius is, so I'll put r equals question mark. My height is given as 8 feet, and my volume is 226 cubic feet. Okay, so now I'm going to plug all this stuff in, leave r as the same, and then solve. Okay, so here is 226 for v. So 226 equals pi r squared, and then my height is 8. I could write this as 8 pi r squared if I wanted to, um, but I'm just going to skip that because the next thing I want to do is solve for this r squared here. Okay, and the way I'm going to do that is just divide by 8 pi, or divide by pi and 8 at the same time, because r squared is being multiplied by pi and 8. So I'm going to divide both sides by 8 pi, or pi times 8, doesn't matter. Okay, the pi's are going to cancel, the 8's are going to cancel, so all I'm left with is r squared. Okay, and now I'm going to simplify this fraction. They're both even, so I can divide out a 2. So this is going to be 113 over 4 pi. And now, to undo this square, I would take the square root of both sides. And I don't need to worry about the negative square root because I'm dealing with a radius, and this radius cannot have a negative distance. Okay, so the length can't be negative here. So I only care about the positive square root. So I'm going to take this positive square root of both sides. And I'm going to get r equals... Well, if we look back at our instructions, we want to round our answer to the nearest whole number again. So I'm just going to plug this expression into the calculator so we can get our rounded answer. So I'm gonna write the square root of 113 over four pi, and that gives us 2.998, and we wanna to round to the nearest whole number, so I'll go from my whole number, and then I'll go one digit to the right, which is a nine, so I'm going to round this up to three. So my radius, I'm going to erase this. I'm going to rewrite it. My radius is approximately 3, and then my unit is going to be feet because I, my volume's in cubic feet, my height is in feet. So it's going to be approximately 3 feet. And now we're done with this example. For this example, you use the cylindrical barrel shown to collect and study rainwater. About how many gallons of water can the barrel hold? Remember, one cubic foot is about... 7.5 gallons. So to approximate this, we're going to treat this barrel like a cylinder. As it says, it's a cylindrical. That means that the barrel is in a cylinder shape. So I'm going to use my cylinder formula for volume, which is 
v equals pi r squared h. So now I'm going to write down everything that I have. Okay, so this is 1.8 feet, and that's going to be the diameter because it's going across the entire circle. So my diameter is 1.8 feet. My height is 2.3 feet. And I'm looking for my volume, so I don't know my volume yet. But remember, I have a radius in my formula, and I only have the diameter here, so what I have to do is divide this in half to get my radius. Now, 1.8 cut in half is going to be 0 0.9. So my radius is 0 0.9 feet. So now I have everything that I need in order to plug in to this equation. Okay, So I'm going to rewrite this as V equals pi and then my radius is 0 0.9 feet squared times my height, which is 2.3. Okay, So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this into my calculator to get an approximate volume in cubic feet. And then after that, I'm going to convert that into gallons. So I'll go into my calculator now. I have pi times 0 0.9 squared, I'm hitting shift 6 and then 2, and then times 2.3 to get our answer. By the way, you could have hit a to the b and write wrote 2 in, or you could have just hit a squared to square it. Uh, anyway, we get our value here, which is 5.8527 blah blah blah, all this thing. Okay, I'm actually going to leave this into my calculator, but in, on my notebook I'm just going to write 5.85 for now. So my volume is approximately 5.85 cubic feet. Now what I want to do is I want to convert this into gallons here. Okay. Well, once again, I know that one cubic foot is equal to 7.5 gallons. So all I need to do is just multiply this number by 7.5 to get my uh, gallon approximation. So I'm going to multiply 5.85 times 7.5, and then that is going to give me my gallon approximation. So the reason why I left this number on the calculator is because all I'm going to do is just multiply this whole thing by 7.5 now. So times 7.5. Okay, And here I see that we have about... Well, it says 43.895 blah, blah, blah gallons. I'm just going to round to the nearest gallon here. So if I go here, this is 3, and then I go one digit to the right, that's 8. So I'm going to round up because that's 5 or more. So this is about 44 gallons. Okay, My volume is about 44 gallons in this barrel. Okay, And now we're done with this one.